So you found your way to my channel. Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. I'd like to first thank those of you watching for at least coming out to check out my channel and hopefully you like my content. Today's video will be the first of my guinea pig chronicles series in which I purchase, test out, and review products that I find on the internet. And with that, let's head right into the video. So if you by chance read the title, today's video will be about buying and trying out free products from Wish. If you don't know already, Wish is a mobile app or website where you can find a vast variety of products such as clothing or artwork for heavily discounted prices. Some of these items even being advertised as free. However, in my past experience viewing such products, the price pretty much always increases when you go to actually buy the product. Today, I'm going to be purchasing six of these free items, observing the price differences between what's advertised and what I actually pay, and then of course testing them out. In particular, I'm going to be looking for an article of clothing, a piece of technology, some jewelry, a backpack or handbag, a watermelon themed item because I have a weird obsession with them, and something random that I just find interesting. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop on my phone and open the Wish app. So since clothing is first up on my list, that's what I'm gonna be looking for first. I do wear a lot of thigh-high socks, and since these look free, I think I'm gonna check them out. They're winter warm women knit crochet cotton soft thick long socks thigh-high leggings. That was kind of a mouthful. They come in a couple different colors. Standard shipping is $4. The reviews say that they look pretty good. I really like these socks, super cute. Doesn't go up to my thigh like the picture, but I still like them. So I'm gonna claim my free leggings. Apparently only the ones that are black are free, so we're gonna go with those. The item has been added to my cart. Okay, so next up is a piece of technology. So we're gonna keep looking for that. We've, I've come across my first piece of free technology, the Fitness Body Massage Pad EMS Hip Trainer Abdominal Trainer Stimulator Trainings Abs Fitness Muscle Abdominal Trainer Device. Just what I'm looking for. Just because I'm scared of what this actually might do to my body, I'm going to keep looking, but if I can't find anything, maybe I'll come back to that. Okay, so a free product that I did just find is a mini karaoke condenser microphone for phone, computer, mini, phone, microphone. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the reviews. The first one says, early delivery, thanks. Haven't used it yet. So I think this is a pretty good buy. I'm gonna go ahead and claim it. Select the color. I think I'm gonna go with pink. Okay, so that checks off the technology part of our list. I've come across this really ornate pair of earrings that is being advertised as free and these do kind of look like something that would be on the more pricey side. So I'm going to go ahead and claim those. I am coming across some pretty weird things such as this um, camel toe underwear for men and women size S to XSL color black and nude. I'm not sure why anyone would want these, but if you guys have ideas, please leave them in the comments. I'm really not sure as to what this is, but I'm gonna click on it because I'm very interested. It's a new one-piece lip massager slim exerciser silicone gel anti-aging anti-wrinkle women lip muscle trainer device. I think this is going to be my interesting item purchase just because of how weird this looks. So I'm going to go ahead and claim it. So after what seemed like an eternity of scrolling through the backpack section, I still haven't found any free ones. So I'm going to switch over to the purse section and try our luck. After a couple minutes, I did manage to find a free handbag. Um, it's listed as new trendy women's fashion faux leather shoulder bag tote messenger zipper satchel handbag. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my cart. I think I'm gonna go with black since a lot of my purses are black already. I don't really want to mess that up. Okay, so I guess the only thing that's left is to search for something watermelon themed. So right off the bat, I did manage to find a cute couple of items. But the one that really caught my eye was this cute little watermelon pencil case. It's listed as watermelon plush pencil case gift wallet holder pouch for student officer. 
Um, now that I clicked on it, it's now being advertised for $2, but since it was advertised at free to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Apparently I saved $1. Awesome. Okay, so now we're just going to go into my cart and assess how much damage I'm doing to my wallet. So the shipping is going to come out to $18 in total because I'm spending $2 on the watermelon pencil case. That also comes into play and the order total comes out to $20. All right, my order is confirmed, and now we just have to wait until they ship. <laughs> okay, guys, so after about a month and a half of waiting, all of my packages finally came in. Up first to try out are my black thigh-high socks. I'll go ahead and take them out of the package. They look pretty standard, like as if you got this from Macy's or something. So obviously I have the socks on now. The first thing I noticed right off the bat is that they're super tight. And they're actually kind of hard to get on. But overall, they're pretty soft. They're not scratchy or anything like that. They're actually pretty cute and I would wear these out. But if you have bigger thighs, then these might be a little bit more of a problem just because I don't think they would go up as high. And if you're looking for actual thigh high socks, then I'd recommend getting them somewhere else. But overall, I actually really like them and I'd give them maybe a 7 out of 10. Honestly, these look way different in real life than they did in the advertisements. I think they're still pretty cute, but if you really wanted to, you could go after them for false advertising. I'm definitely satisfied with my purchase, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for other people just because of how tight they are and how differently they may fit on other people. Next up, we have our free piece of technology. So the little microphone is pink, as I requested, which is awesome because a lot of times people mess that up somehow. The cord is decently long, which I like, so you can have a lot of wiggle room when you're moving around. And it does come with these two attachments, so you can plug it into multiple things. However, after fiddling around with it um, on my computer for a couple minutes, I came to the conclusion that this straight does not work. Uh, fortunately, I did figure out a couple other ways to use it without using it as an actual microphone. My favorite of which being a weapon against small children. So do I regret purchasing this? Yes. Is it a waste of money? Yes. Maybe if I'm just too dumb to figure out how to use it, um, maybe then it would be worth the money that I didn't pay for. But, you know, other than that, I would probably not recommend this to another person. Unless you're looking for small microphone-shaped weapons to beat your children with. Moving on to the third item, which is a piece of jewelry. I got those nice earrings. And taking them out of the package, they actually do look kind of cute. Here's what they look like up close. As you can see, it says fashion jewelry on top. They're gold, dangly, and they've got these little diamond things on top. Honestly, now that I'm looking at them super close, they're kind of shaped like the squids from Minecraft. <coughs> so I'm just about finished putting them both in, and honestly, my first impression is that they're a lot cuter than I thought they were going to be. Overall, I can say that I'm happy with how they turned out, and I would definitely recommend these to people, especially as a gift for maybe your sister or your aunt or something, or if you're even just looking for a nice piece of costume jewelry to wear out. Next on our list is the little black bag that I got. My first impression is that I'm glad the zipper works, because sometimes when you get things like this, uh, the zipper is broken. It does come with a little strap. I'm noticing that it does look pretty cheap. It just looks like... Um, it's kind of made out of duct tape, honestly. These clips are not moving, which is a huge issue because if I can't get them undone, I can't attach them to the bag. I guess what I can do is I can attach the clamp to the other one like this, and then maybe just do it on one side so it looks like a weird asymmetrical bag, but that's kind of stupid. So, On the inside, there aren't any pockets or anything, and overall it's a pretty small bag. You could probably just fit your phone and maybe a couple pieces of makeup or something. I think this would be a really cute makeup bag to take on the go, but I don't think it'll work as an actual purse. Overall, this wasn't the worst purchase, but the thing about the clamp not opening was definitely an issue, so I'd give it maybe a 6 out of 10. Because at the end of the day, it was a free bag, the zipper works, and it is kind of cute if you want to use it for a little makeup bag or any other tiny storage thing. Next up is the item I'm most excited for, the watermelon themed item! Upside down. 
Right off the bat, I'm noticing that it's super soft and there's actually something inside, probably just to keep its shape. Overall, I'm actually really liking this. I think it's super cute. It's a good size, so if you wanted to also use this for a makeup bag or something like that, you totally could. This thing can fit my phone, my mascara and eyeliner, a couple tubes of lipstick, and I still have a lot of room left, honestly. Like, you could put a couple more things in here. This would also be a super cute gift for maybe like your daughters or your nieces or a super weird girlfriend if you happen to be dating me. But overall, I really like this bag and I'm really happy with my purchase. <laughs> Last but not least, the weird lip exercise thing that I decided to buy for some reason. This is actually pretty hard to take out of the package. It's kind of sticky, which I don't really like seeing as how I'm about to put this in my mouth. This is what it looks like up close. It's really squishy. I'm assuming it's made out of silicone or something. Unfortunately, this thing didn't really come with any instructions, so I guess what I just have to do is put it in my mouth and kind of wiggle it around, I guess. Here we go. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? What is this for? First thing I noticed about this thing is that it is ginormous. I don't know if I just have a really small mouth or what, but this was really, really difficult to actually like put in my mouth. Second thing I noticed was that it was pretty much impossible to close my lips after putting it in, which I guess is the whole point of it. I think it's like a strength building exercise, but overall, I don't know how much I like this. This might be a fun thing to bring out at parties if you want to kind of freak out everybody there or maybe just like spice up the party a little bit. But other than that, I have no idea why the fuck you would ever buy this. This is the most difficult exercise I've ever done in my life. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and never do that ever again. They're advertising this thing as anti-aging and anti-wrinkle, so if I use something this ridiculous, I better have no wrinkles by the time I'm 80. Overall, am I happy with my purchase? Debatable. Would I recommend this to people? Fuck yes. Not only is this the weirdest shit that I've ever bought with my own money, but I think it's just a funny thing to like have in your possession. So. I guess, just for the meme of it, uh, yeah, buy it. Unlike how I predicted earlier, but much to my pleasant surprise, the free products that I did choose did, for the most part, remain free except for that one watermelon bag, which I don't mind because that was one of my favorite products. All in all, I think I had about a 50% success rate with the things that I liked and would recommend with the things that were stupid and want to burn. Overall, I guess it's really just a hit and miss when it comes to shopping on Wish in general, but with shopping with free products, I guess it gets a little bit more iffy, but I think that's just something that we'll have to do more scientific testing with. Once again, guys, thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you like what you saw, please feel free to smash that like button, and if you, for whatever reason, want to see more content with this face in it, feel free to subscribe. If you have any suggestions on topics that you think I should do videos of, or if you just want to say hi or kill yourself, feel free to do so in the comments. And with that, see you next video. Bye-bye!